Hello and welcome everybody, it's King Demps, your favourite HLTV writer, and if I'm not your favourite, I should be, and what the hell is wrong with you? So I'm doing a piece for HLTV uh, on Deco. Is Deco legit? Is he real shit? Or is he just shit? So that's what we're doing today. We're doing a demo review. Um, funnily enough, Deco is auto-muted because he's a toxic little shit. So amazing. Love it. So basically, this is just going to be uh, from Daisy, who is Deco. It's going to be from Deco's point of view. And we're going to see how he does on this nuke versus Titans. Now, Titans, obviously the uh, MSL team. So interesting, they sent Flamey there to get some info and bait for Deco. Travis grabs a kill at the door. So pretty nice pistol strat, to be fair, from one win, actually. Very, very well coordinated. Everybody knew what their role was. Sonny just swings out there because he's desperate for some info. Probably not the greatest maneuver of all time. Supra grabs a kill on Travis as he was trying to lurk out door. So Glowing is going to head down secret and i think they're going to try and crunch lower with deco coming down the vent so i'm interested to see how deco does here because i think um <clears throat> no okay it's just going to be left now for deco to 1v2 with an upper plant nobody can get there in time like i was saying orpers on nuke um it can be an interesting map to orp on because i think there's a lot of potential for orpers to do very well but it's not the easiest map to AWP on. It's not super simple. On CT side, there's a lot of rotations that you need to be doing in order to get the most out of the AWP, I think. You can just stick the AWP outside and he can just sit perma outside. But I think the best thing for an AWP to do is to get at least some rotate potatoes going. And then on T side, yeah, it's just... Oh, okay. Yep. Yeah, Deco gets wrecked. Okay. So, obviously starting on the unfavored T side here, one win. Um, a scout right in his hands. Okay, so Deco, is, my man, is a scope-only kind of guy, apparently. Um, so what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to, like, build a picture of Deco as a player. Um, I'm focusing more at the moment on, like, stylistically what to expect from him, how he likes to play. And this is already, like, a factor. Is he going to be, like, the kind of guy who literally always wants to pick up a scoped weapon? Um, you know, obviously early doors, it looks like it. I've watched a bit of Deco, but I'll be honest, I don't have, like, all the time in the... Okay, that's a sick little shot. Okay, he's absolutely fucking owning people with this scout. Okay, they were two sick shots, very, very quick, straight to the head, and it's given his team an advantage on their force buy. So it's going to be interesting, um... Obviously, like I say, I've seen a bit of Deco play, um, but not enough to have a really, really good idea of, of exactly what kind of player he is. I've basically seen him enough to know, like, he's typical CIS fucking mega talent. And that's another headshot for him with his scout, and they have made very light work of this round. Um, I'm not going to be analysing so much, like I sometimes do with these demo reviews, on like what the team's doing overall. It's very much going to be focused on what Deco is doing. Um, so I'm not going to be looking at the mini-map super closely all the time. I'm not going to be looking at what the rest of the team is doing a lot of the time. I'm going to be looking at what Deco is doing and how Deco is being utilised. And how he's doing. Okay, so now we see him go to the SG. So yeah, my man looks like uh, scoped only. My man's real, real short-sighted. Like He can't see anything too far away, so he's got to get them scopes out. So pretty comfortable win for one win in this follow-up round there. Waiting for that scout that he knows is in. Oh, yeah, okay. Not the cleanest shots with the SG there. Um, we will speed through the rest of this round because I'm I'm not really that fussed on what everyone else is doing. Um, yeah, we'll look at, we'll look at Flamey. Why not? Uh, what are we doing? Oh, jeez, what happened there? Did he just get two freebies down lower? How did that even happen? I mean, this is going to go one wins away now, but okay, there we go. And we are back on Deco. 
so so far mechanically very good uh super super scope reliant uh now he is on his ump hasn't oh actually yeah i guess he's looking for a drop next round probably probably just gonna sack his life this round not be too disappointed with just running out and dying and one win are uh, not going to walk into this stack. Are they aware of the fact it's a stack? Yeah, I think they are now. I think they now know that it's a stack. And yeah, they're going to walk into the upper bomb site and make stuff happen. So this one win side, um, just to give a little bit of context, they've been doing really, really well in tier two recently. Like really, really well. Obviously qualified from the major Came second in the sort of Champions Tour event that happened recently. Doing really well in sort of uh, ESCA League and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, this team is like a team on the rise full stop. And we're going to get to see them on LAN at the RMRs. How well I think they can do, I don't know. Like I say, I've watched a bit of them. Not enough to have like a really good idea, but they look pretty decent. They've got, I think, a good amount of skill. I think Lollipop is decent. Um, I think everybody really on the team is 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 pretty good um, on their day. It's just whether or not they're going to be able to hang tactically and strategically, I think, with the top teams. Like, what is their calling going to be like? So sticking on the UMP for now, Brucey bonus round here for one win. So, okay, it looks like he's not necessarily Deco going to insist he gets the AWP dropped for him every time there's money. Seems quite happy to take a Brucey bonus round here. And he is coaching by door. So obviously going somewhere based on where his UMP is relevant. With the scoped weapons, he was obviously very focused towards playing towards outside, unsurprising, where those weapons are going to be the most effective. Um, but with the UMP in his hands, he's lobby, where, again, where that weapon is going to be the most effective. That's where you're going to get really close range duels. Um, so one winner, a bit shit out of luck here. Uh, Flamey needs to probably get something done with this outside lurk, and then they'll try and use that attention i would have thought to go for lobby although oscar looks like he's about to peak secret oh flamey absolutely murks him though so th this round is now on for one win that was the prerequisite was that flamey got something done there okay they've cleared out heart yeah this is not undoable three people here are ready for the top site here but if they get a clean entry then this is very very doable that's yeah an impossible duel for deco with his shitty UMP. And okie dokie. They've actually managed to get Flamey onto the site. But it's fine. Titans clean things up. One win still in a very very good position obviously for the game. Uh, and on an AK. So there was enough I think to drop an AWP if he wanted it. Um, but it looks like the AK. Yeah definitely a, a choice here from Deco to go into the AK. There was the potential of having an AWP drop for him. Throw in some granatas to put pressure on this top site. That molly goes into a smoke so that they know that the molly died top part. Ah, it was a bait. They've got another molly. Deco has another one in his hands, although it doesn't look like it's going to the top of hut, this one. No, it looks this one's going somewhere else. Don't know my nuke lineups well enough to know where this one's going. Uh... It's not going heaven, is it? We'll we'll find out, won't we? We'll wait and see. So what am I getting from Deco so far? Skill, for sure. Already knew that. Knew that there was mechanical strength. Um, definitely not just running around willy-nilly. Definitely playing within the team concept and structure. Uh, willing to take the AK over. Okay, no, so it's not. It's going... Not going up to heaven either. I don't see exactly where that one landed, but it might be a back site that one. Yep, good spam. And yeah, so uh, like you see here, um, very much playing within the team concept. There's definitely a structure behind these rounds, and Deco is definitely playing within that structure. Um, nothing too crazy. Some really nice shots earlier with the scout, but. Since then, just kind of doing his job, filling his role. 
within the set round. So no orb to be dropped here, I don't think. Nope. So going to roll with the AK again. Interested to see, because uh, obviously I'll do more um, analysis of Deco demos. It will be really interesting to see if this is going to be something more common on other maps or if this is going to be like a T-side nuke specific thing that he, he doesn't necessarily super prioritize getting the AWP in his hands. Or if it's just this game, you know. But that I think is something that I've seen in general with CIS AWPers. I'd say Dexter's probably at the extreme of like he fucking always wants that AWP in his hands. Um, but there's like wonderful, simple, even Monacy to some degree. Um, pretty proficient with the AKs, so he's, he's just had to do absolutely nothing here. His team have just all headshot uh, everyone on Titans. So, the Titans go for a bit of a crunch. It looked like some people died in trophy. Don't know, wasn't paying attention. It was too busy chatting bollocks about other AWPers. But that's kind of what I'm, I'm thinking about as well, is I'm kind of thinking about how does Deco compare to other... CIS orpers who've gone on and made it big like your Mona C's, like your simples and thinking about can we use those guys as a barometer for how Deco might do Nerdios grabs a kill but yeah he's probably just going to get hunted and die here and he gets hunted and dies so one win in a very very comfortable position here uh, the economy is not amazing for Titans, but they can buy this round. They'd probably have to take one on the chin, even with max loss bonus next, because they're all drained. One win are doing really well, and have so far got a pretty nice bank built up. They got over 5k on three players, with two players up over 7k. So, again, no warp. Um, no desire from one win to pick up an AWP. Very happy to five rifle. They've been pretty much crushing Titans with the five rifles. Not a huge amount of emphasis from one win outside as of yet. Although they are going to line up some outside smokes here to at least suggest that there's going to be some outside presence. Although it looks like it's just going to be a lurk from glowing. So generally used outside as more of a lurky doo-doo. So far, one win. I know I said I wouldn't focus on their team play, but, you know, we are going to see them at the RMR, so it is worth having at least a little gander at what they do as a team. It's been a pretty good T-side so far, to be honest. Um, very, very efficient and effective on the entries. But their team concepts and the structure seems to be there as well. Like, they, they seem to be well-drilled, for sure. Haven't had to see too much of a variety yet. Because they've... Kind of just been squishing this inner hold every time. All right, Deco gives up the bomb. Is Deco going to go out first here? No. So Deco isn't the man to go out first. Okay, yep, yeah, gets the trade, but... Uh, see, that time the entries weren't quite so hot. Right, yeah, okay, now the all comes out. Okay, so waited for the... Uh... Waited for the guns to get knocked out of their hands, and now he's gone to the AWP. And also, it was the first round where, like, the five rifles didn't necessarily work. So I expect to see a slower default here with more focus on outside, getting Deco set up in a position where he can have some impact. So he's just kind of clearing out some of the deeper angles that Oscar could be playing with his AWP first and foremost. I've lost a man early, I think, to the door fight, but again, wasn't paying huge amounts of attention, so... Probably want to work this outside control for all it's worth. Yeah, glowing. So they know where Oscar is. Interested to see what Deco tries to do. Really slick movement from Deco. My man, mechanically, is fucking lush. So, changing up his position... Realize that there's nobody outside that's going to be pickable because they're playing very far back outside. So rather than be somewhere where he knows nobody is, he's decided to change up and join up with the rest of his team in lobby. So I like it from Deco. It makes sense. Definitely using his brain here. So they sort of clear out door a little bit. 
Not a lot of time. It looks like it's just going to be a save call. Yeah. Yeah. No no one gave up. Okay, so I like it from one win. They're actually very, very uh, conservative and very much thinking for the long term. They can drop an AK over there. Yeah, really nice. So they actually just get another shot. I like that from one win uh, from a team perspective. An awful lot there to just call the save. D don't throw your guns away for no reason. They also had a decent amount of grenades still in their pocket. And they get a really, really healthy buy in this round because they make a very smart and... Um, a very prudent economic decision. I like that from women a lot, actually. It's very mature decision making, in my opinion. Okay, so much more outside focus now. They're sending a lot of bodies here to get this control. And the pick is made by Deco. Really, really nice job. Oscar played the exact same position that he was playing from last time. A little bit too easy to read there from Titans and Oscar in particular. He just put himself in the exact same spot that... He murdered, I think it was Glowing last round. It might not have been, it might have been someone else. But yeah, you, you understand the point. Oscar got a kill from that position the round before. Kind of just goes straight back to it. A little bit easy to read. And Deco reads it and gets the kill. Deco, uh, you know, a bit of a weeaboo. Uh, my man's got um, a weeaboo as heck name on his orb. Don't know what it says. I assume it's weeaboo. So he's going to lose some points for that. Sorry, Deco. I'm joking, by the way, guys. It's fine to be a fan of anime. It's it's okay. You're allowed. This is interesting uh, from from the boy Deki Deki Doo Doo. Oh my god, he's actually gotten up here. Okay, Super has spotted it. That yeah, that was there was some bizarre routing from one win here, but. I don't think it's going to be enough to win the round. Nice shot from Deco, though. He Mechanically, he's really, really smooth. He has not missed a single shot that he should have hit so far. Every, everything that... Not even should have, but more every opportunity he's had, he's hit. Like, he hasn't let a frag go by that he had the opportunity to get just yet. Okay, so one win still putting together a decent T side. Um, but Titans definitely coming back into it. Still a little bit skimpy on the cash titans, and now they've lost their loss bonus. So this is actually quite a good potential um, for a reset from one win. I'm not sure if they were the guys who took the pause here. Um, maybe. But this is probably their best chance to get like a really important economic reset in. So this is quite a big round. If one win win this round, then it's really fucking huge. Uh, where's Lollipop going? He is just going to hang around... Okay, yeah, he's just hanging around lobby. Okay, so they're looking for that pick again, assuming Oscar might be playing in the same spot again, but this time Oscar is playing towards ramp, I believe. Yeah. Okay, so one win showing a decent variety on their T side as well now. We've seen like a couple of different looks from them, a couple of different ways they've like routed or a couple of different routes they've taken in the mid round after getting some map control, so... I'm liking what I'm seeing uh, from a team-wide concept so far for one win. It, it's been nice for sure. Variety, effective and potent on their trades. They look well-structured and drilled. Trades have been good and spacing's been nice in general. Yeah, I'm, I'm liking what I'm seeing from this one win T-side so far. It, it looks pretty effective. Nice. They've read this really nicely. Yeah, that's just sick. That's It's just really nice the way one winner building a picture of what's going on in the round in their heads. Um, and yeah, just, I mean, I'm not saying that's like a super revolutionary thing for the AWPer to be holding that angle when that door gets opened, but it, it's just one winner building like a, the correct picture of what's going on in the rounds and, and they're playing, <laughs> my man whiffed his flashbang, lose his marks, negative points, you whiffed a flashbang, he's trying it again, he's like, how the fuck did I whiff that? Yeah, there you go, that's the correct lineup, okay, he's cool, he's got it now. Um, yeah, so Deco, um, looking really nice, mature, effective, nothing super flashy yet, except for those scout shots earlier, um, but just really, really nice and effective, hitting all the shots that he's getting the opportunity to take, mechanically looks very clean and smooth, good movement, not wildly aggressive as of yet, like pretty much playing within a, t a team concept here. Very much playing as like a star orper in the sense he's getting set up. A little bit more aggression early here. 
Okay, no, expecting a push, eh? It seems. Nobody else is lining up a nade. I'm assuming this is his HE, which will throw at some point. Is he holding that nature HE? Oh, that's sick from Deco, though. Yeah. Guy is hella fast, mechanically very, very clean. A little bit more aggressive there, just taking a dry peek. So I like it. We're seeing a bit more variety in his play. So he's gotten the call that somebody pushed outside. So he's holding that angle for now in case the push comes further. Um, as we can see on our minimap, Titans have actually fallen back. Be interesting to see if he tries to take any of this control alone. Um, or if he just holds the more passive approach here. It looks like he's just going to hold the more passive approach. Although he's got a mate coming now. Yeah, so now he's going to start pushing more aggressively. So, like, very controlled. Very controlled and very mature from, from Deco here. No fuckery running around like a goon trying to shotgun up. Oh, he's going to get Oscar again. Oh, did he not see that? No worries, because Flamey was covering it. Man, Oscar's had his ripped off by, her head ripped off a couple of times by, um, by Flamey. So Deco is going to be the man to, like, hold, yeah, outside like these. And, yeah, this is a one-win round now. Oh, okay. Maybe not. Okay, 1v1. This is where the big bucks come. He switches to the AK. 10 seconds. He's got the time. Sunny should win that, man. That's not good enough. Yeah, the fact that Sonny caught... I mean, Sonny did the hard work in that round there, like get, putting his team in a position to actually get a round win. But once he puts himself in that position and Deco is jumping up on that box, Sonny should win that duel 10 times out of 10. Uh, it's just not good enough, that. Maybe I'm being a little bit harsh with the HP. Um, I, I think Sonny was damaged, but I'm pretty sure Deco was too, so... Yeah, not not. S Deco gets credit because he won it, but I think Sunny should have won that duel. To be honest with you, yeah, Titan now just kind of forcing into oblivion. Um, just that classic of like, well, we don't have enough rounds, and we're not going to be able to get enough rounds even if we win every round from here on in. But we need some rounds, so let's just force, 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 force. Hey, again, very calm and controlled. They lost the entry, but they haven't panicked too much about it. They've recovered the gun. I think it was outside. I think glowing was outside early, and I assume Sunny just went flying out of mini. Uh, and just peeked. Nodios holding an off angle. Will he find a freebie? Oh, they were holding a weird-ass crossfire. Deco took a bit of damage. Flamey took a bit of damage. But they've pulled it back into a 4v3. Nodios is going to go for a repeak. And MSL dies, so they're going to get to go in here. And yeah, Deco can just... Very, very aware. Watches the flank... Beautiful. Yeah, what one winner playing some some nice stuff here. One winner really playing some nice stuff. Right. Uh let me just check the time. Okay, good. I gotta cover a game for HLTV in a bit, but we're okay on time, so we should be able to finish this demo out. Uh okay, we'll skip through some of these like pistol rounds. Yeah. Okay, it gets a bit fucking crazy, but yeah, it doesn't matter. Okay, got a bit mad because Titans just like all crunch lobby. Okay, back on the guns. Last round off the half. A little bit more aggressive from... So Deco's definitely shown some some aggression towards the back end of this half. I've I've been actually surprised by how, like, mature this performance has looked. Um, well, I guess not surprised because Deco is a little bit older than somebody like Wonderful. Um, you know, Wonderful's only 17. Deco is, I think, 21. So Deco is definitely older if you want to compare him to, like, a Monacy or a... Or a wonderful, yeah, great from Deco. He just doesn't miss, man. This guy does not miss. This guy hasn't missed a single shot that he should have, or even could have hit, you know? Really reliable and consistent. 
MSL murders with the push. Didn't realize they'd be so far pushed already. And 9 6 Titans, or 6 9, I guess, if you're looking at it from Titans' perspective, they at least partially recover the half. Um, but this should be too much to overcome. Uh, a 9 6 lead going into the CT side of Nuke. If one win, uh, win the pistol, you pretty much can just call it there. Okay, so obviously that uh, noise gives Titans some info potentially, but it's hard because somebody could just knife that out to give you the sound cue and then he's not actually gone down there. Oh, okay, yeah, Supra should have been aware that that could have been a possibility at least. He didn't even look like he was considering that. It could just be a timing there. Deco caught a, caught a really nice timing, but I think Titans were close enough to hear that and should have known that it was a possibility shadow advantage means that's pretty easy for deco he's still trying to keep an eye on outside because he knows his team should have in the uh, lockdown oh has to reload okay uses the little head bounce to keep himself alive yeah just being a, a nuisance with his movement be very hard to hit yeah that's nice from deco Again, like, feels very uh, mature. Very, very mature. You know, not 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 getting too swept up with trying to get all those frags and be the pistol round hero, but just making sure he is difficult to kill, making sure he gets his that he needs to, making sure he's staying responsible for outside. Super impressed so far. Impressed with what I'm seeing from one win as a team, but also impressed from what I'm seeing from Deco as a player. Regardless of whether or not he's uh, super toxic, because <laughs> he's auto freaking yeah, nice. Just knowing the timings there. Oh, lollipop gets uh, gets his little noggin ripped off in hut. Yep, he was there. He was. He was in hut. Oh, mini, they get pushed. Ooh. Okay, good. Good for him to get down. Oh no. Yeah, needs to get a kill earlier there, Deco. Probably the one time where you're like, he needed to get a frag a little bit earlier. Um. Didn't really give himself much of a chance because by the time he's like actually getting a clean jewel, they're already up in his face. So best he can hope for is a one for one. If he gets a kill earlier on them as they're further away from the silo, then potentially he can do more. Uh, Who's the boss? There's no time, so it looks like attack, right? It's not going to be attack. Okay, we're back in after a few minutes of pause. So one win, go for the force, a hero rifle on glowing. They do the boost. Is that the rifle that they boosted to? Yep, the rifle is what they boosted on top of garage. I think Deco is going to look for a pick on the fade of the smoke here. Oh, damn. Sunny's Jiggle. Oh, Flamey found a pick at ramp. It, it just discipline paid from Sunny to be kind of like shoulder peeking that angle so the Deco couldn't just get a clean headshot on the smoke fading. Right, speed for a little bit because Titans are being very slow. Okay, so they get the kill at ramp and they're coming back. No, sorry, they got the kill on the guy flanking lobby. Okay, so now they're coming back to lobby. And they're gonna go inner, it looks like. Yeah, but with Lollipop getting no kills, probably done. Oh, nice shot, though, from Deco. Very clean. Very nice from Deco. Okay, he's made it doable. Whether Glowing's gonna go for this or not, I don't know. It looks like he's gonna give it a little look in. Yeah, this is so winnable. So very winnable. Ah, uh, Supra's got your angle, mate. Oh, Supra, you should hit that. Oh, okay, he recovers. Oh, I was going to say, if I'm Supra, I'm fucking pissed I don't win that round. Because he had the it, angle and didn't get the kill. But it's okay, he got the headshot on the repeat. So an eco now for one win. So yeah, Titans have put themselves back in at least a position where this game is not done. Um, 
you'd still say one winner in the driver's seat because they won their T half 9-6, whereas Titans at the moment are just getting what they should get off a pistol win. So I think one win know that they went lower there. So yeah, they are going to get a bit of a rotatey potato on. Oh, wow. How has a pistol no armor just gotten a pick? Not sure what has happened there. Uh, so, okay. Titans have got up. Uh, yeah, we'll just speed through the rest of this. Travis has saved an AK, and the others are just going to look to, yeah, if they can get something. But they don't. But it's fine. It's fine. Okay, so we're back into it. M4, because there was not really any cash on the table. So, not really done, like, tons of warping this game, to be honest. Echo looks pretty happy to just rock with a, a rifle if he needs to. Playing anti-flash here. Still playing anti-flash. Now he's going to come out, gets one. Decent attempt at a nade. He has to chill out because of the... Okay, 2v2. Flamey looks like he's rapping from ramp. I... No, oh, he's stayed heaven. I lied. I lied. He's stayed heaven. Nobody knows where anyone is. I don't know where Oscar's going. He, Oscar's kind of in no man's land at the moment. He's going for a really long flank of heaven, but I don't, I don't know if this is a good call. Uh, it is now. Oh, Oscar gets away with, I think, a very risky play there going for that heaven wrap. I think it's super, super risky, if I'm honest. Not the biggest fan of that play. It only ends up working out because the guy uh, in the site gets the kill, and that's not the most favorable duel in the world, like getting that kill on the heaven guy from down in the site. So... But if you're Titans, you're very much feeling back in this game. Another shit eco round for one win that they've got to endure. And one win are going to have to start getting on the board. It's, it's now getting to the point where you get a little bit nervous for them. I'm going to just speed through the start of this round just because Titans have been super fucking slow early in the rounds. They're lining up uh, a late wall of smokes outside. Yeah, this is so fucking slow from Titans. Nobody else gets killed outside. I think if I'm one win now, I'm just falling back to like turtle the sights. No, they're going to go for a push. Travis gets a kill. Okay, they're going to go for quite a fast. Travis gets another kill. 3 v 3 Travis picked up an AK. If he gets another, that'll just be mad. Okay, no, but the bomb is down. There's only 20 seconds. Yeah, no, not quite. They all end up coming from the same spot okay this is the round you as one win you're like we we need to win this one we can't fuck this one up you know <laughs> okay we do have an orp on deco now so they're happy to run five rifles but when the economy allows it like it reaches a convenient point and that's when deco seems to grab the orp Ah, oh, Oscar gets wrecked by Travis. Oscar's not had a good game here, man. Like, he's not doing terribly on the fragging front, but I just think he's lost a lot of key jewels. Uh, and on this Titans roster, I'd be expecting him to go very ham. Nice from Deco to reposition and finds a free kill on Titans just trying to walk and play a bit of contact. I don't really know what Sunny is doing there. Yeah, that's a very easy kill for Deco. Not really sure what Sonny was doing. He sort of jiggled it and then kind of just very slowly slid out into the angle anyway. I, I don't know. You can't take for granted that the AWPer not taking a shot on your jiggle means that there's no AWPer there anymore. Does he pick himself up a smoke there? Yeah, CT's won that one really easily. Well, wow, there's absolutely... Yeah, so I, I suspect that's probably game over. I think one win... Uh, because Titans T side hasn't been super convincing. 
like it's been fine they've gotten done what they needed to get done but it has felt like the low economy of one win has been really really impactful early and now you just to get the feeling that in the gun rounds one win are going to be better more often than not like they've already taken this room they've read how slow titans are, are playing the start of their t rounds and how much space titans are offering up as a potential to okay oscar does pick lollipop I'm not sure where that was might have been pushing ramp i think lollipop might have been pushing ramp to try and join travis with the with the crunchy munchy okay now it's a bit wild and wacky it's a bit all over the place now i don't think either team have a fantastic idea of where anyone is So getting down secret to lower would be best for Titans, but they, they can't know that, obviously. It looks like they're going to try and wrap upper with Nodios. I get a bad feeling that either Supra or Oscar's going to get caught, but we'll see. Oscar's chilling in secret at the moment. Yeah, Deco's getting info because they need something, one win. But he just clears out lobby. That's all he does. So they... They can't even be super certain because of how far he didn't clear. Uh, he's going to die to super here. <laughs> he gets some knife damage down. That's funny. No time, Titans. Yeah, they just left it so late. Yeah, t uh, I don't know, man. That was a weird round. Titans just let the clock beat them there. Here we go. Here's Daisy. So didn't really have to do much there, Deco, in one win. They just kind of had to sit there and wait for Titans to run the clock down. Sonny's going to die again. Oh, wow. Supra hit a nice shot there. No, nope, fair play to Supra. Immediately goes down to glowing. Immediately gets the follow up on Sonny. Gonna smoke, and now, yeah, the, what was uh, a really nice start to the round. Titans just don't capitalize on it at all. Uh, MSL does catch out glowing, but he will quickly be hunted down. Yup, okay. Right, speed through. Still got time. Oh, no, oh. not hit that one, has he? Oh, he's whiffed. He's whiffed. Okay, some whiffs there from Deco. He can, he can in fact whiff. Yeah, Titans are going to win this just absolute mad round where they all sprinted outside with pistols. Okay, <laughs> okay. Not sure that's uh, something you can replicate, but all right. If it wins you the round, it wins you the fucking round. Ah, Flamey catches a timing. And Titans are going to walk into Deco's orb here, it feels like. Because we got a few other man them outside who look like they're about to come down secret. Wait, where is Nodios? Ah, oh, no, okay, he hasn't gone secret. He's wrapping heaven. Okay, so they've ignored secret. They haven't really liked to use secret too much, Titans. They've If they get the outside control, they much prefer this heaven wrap. So Deco's not going to get much done here, it doesn't look like. Yep, Nodios grabs the pick on that Heaven Wraps. Good stuff. 4v4, though. Oh, okay. This is a rough. Deco's going to not be able to get involved for a while here. Titan's leaving it so late again, though. Yeah, they've just left it too late again. Oh, no. Okay, they are getting the bomb down. Jeez. 2v2 retake. Titans were in the driver's seat massively this round. Oh, wow. Now Travis has picked up. Nodios, so yeah, this is just gonna be Travis just murders them all. Deco doesn't even have to do anything. Has Jesus? Has Jesus Christos? He's throwing some goodies so that Travis gets a few a few nice goodies. A few nice little extra granadas. Look at that, Deco. Big brain stuff. He's playing the long game. Mike he's min-maxing. I nearly said microing, but he's min-maxing, that's what I meant. Okay, some aggression here from Deco on this CT side. Very, very aggressive. He's getting up in their faces. 
I would just hold this angle. He does. He's got no need, reason to back off. Yep, I would just hold this for a while, and that's what he's going to do. You actually get a lot of info from this angle as well. So one for one trade. Now he's pushing a bit further forward. He's basically cleared this on his own. The rest of uh, oh. Small technical difficulty there, but it's okay. We're back in and we didn't miss anything. So the rest are grouped outside near garage. We've got one guy chilling in the lobby. And again, Titans aren't really doing anything. They're just kind of fucking sitting there. I think one would have a pretty good read of what's going on, though. And it looks like they're coming back up secret. Yeah. Yeah, they just... Didn't really do anything. Okie dokie. That guy had a chance there and doesn't hit it. Does he know the lobby guy is there? Nope. Gets wrecked. Oh my god. Travis is going to save the day again. <laughs> Sunny just about has enough time to plant. Flamey doesn't need to go too fast. Okay. Sunny has heard him now, I think. Does Flamey not have a crosshair? Why does Flamey not have a crosshair? What the fuck is going on? Ugh. Oh, Sunny, mate. Oh. That's another sitter, to be honest with you. Yeah, that's pretty fought and bad, Sunny. Okay, we got another pause. Let's hope this one's not long. Nah, we're back into it. Uh, Titans, oh, finally, Deco's actually gone to, like, the, the standard spot for an Orpo and gone outside. He's not, he's played Ramp, he's played Heaven, he's not really played outside, he's played fucking, like, Inner in, uh, Hut? Hut? Yeah, he's played inside Hut. I've, for some reason, my brain hates, like, gets the mini and Hut calls a bit confused on, uh, on Nuke. Don't know why. It's just the way my brain works. So Deco is getting all the info here knowing that nothing is coming outside at all. So this is like pretty easy for one win to read here. Yeah, they just know that. Yeah, great. R nice job being aggressive and getting through that smoke. He can now throw some flashes for his mates. Okay, he actually ended up blinding Travis there. The communication wasn't 100%. But they're so worried. Okay, Oscar drops. Deco's heard that. Is he going to go chasing the drop? No, it doesn't look like it. He has heard this, though, so he does have full info. <laughs> okay, now he decides to go. Play me already down there because the info. Yeah, and this game's over. G. G. I then. What are we feeling about that one? Um... So, I think one win were really impressive. Particularly the T side impressed me. They showed... A lot of different variety. I think they showed a good structure. They look like they're well drilled. Um, and a maturity to the way they played. Some mature decision making for sure. I think Deco as well embodied that. I think he was very, very mature in the way he played as an AWPA. Um, Never took too many risks. Played within the structure really nicely. Um, made like the correct decision more often than not right he, he, the way he moved around the map he took the decisions which had the best kind of like risk reward payoff um we did see some switch ups for some more aggressive play but in general not super aggressive as an orpa um he wasn't out there trying to get the entry like nine times out of ten yeah i liked what i saw for sure and it definitely gave me a good picture of what deco is i think he seems like quite a mature player in the way he plays Definitely generally goes for the moments when he's set up rather than being the guy to get the opener on his own. Although he did also show the propensity to do that. Also really willing to pick up a rifle and really willing to stick with that rifle until the economic situation kind of gave him the opportunity to pick up the orb without having to say, right, we're going to force this, somebody drop for me or whatever. He kind of waited until a convenient moment economically to pick up the orp let me know what you guys thought of both one win and deco in the comments let me know what you want to see next all of that good jazz if you didn't like this you're just a scrub and i have no other words for you 
like and subscribe and all that gaff. And I'll see you next time. Peace out.